This client is in the pre-contemplative stage. He does not yet recognize the potential negative consequences of his current pattern of drinking. He is not very open to discussing behavior change because he does not yet recognize that he has a problem. This brief intervention is focused on developing discrepancy between his values and his current drinking behavior in order to help him begin contemplating the pros and the cons of his drinking. All right, Steve, thank you for answering those questions. I appreciate your openness. And would it be all right if I provided you with some feedback? I don't know. That's not what I'm here for. I mean, I, you know, I, I'm really just here to talk about my work performance, and I already answered all your questions. I'm not an alcoholic. It sounds like addressing your work performance is important to you. And you mentioned previously that you missed work on at least one occasion because of your use of alcohol. I want to assure you I'm not here to label you, but I would like to talk a bit about the connection between alcohol use and work performance. Would that be okay? Well, I just want to keep my job. If that's what I have to do, then fine. Yeah, I'll do it. This perhaps isn't the most comfortable conversation for you, but I really appreciate your willingness to engage with me in a discussion about it. Um, and perhaps work out some work-related issues as well. So, on one hand, I hear you saying that keeping your job is a top priority for you, and on the other hand, you've noticed some things that are putting your job in jeopardy. Maybe not showing up for work when you're hungover? What are your thoughts about that? I used a sick day because I was hungover, but I mean, that's something that everybody does once in a while. I mean, I was sick, you know? I just partied a little too much the night before. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a big deal. So you noticed that going out and drinking had an impact on your work and your health? I was just hungover. It happens. It's not a big deal. So it sounds like you think being hungover is a normal occurrence for you. Would it be all right if I shared some feedback with you on that? Here we go. <sighs> Yeah. Go ahead if you think it's important. Okay. Well, based on your answers to the questions I asked you earlier about your alcohol use, you are at moderate risk for experiencing health, social, or other problems due to your use. You mentioned that drinking has already interfered with your work performance on one occasion, and that your wife has expressed some concerns about your drinking as well. What are your thoughts about that? Well, it's like this. I don't like having my wife upset. Obviously, I want to keep my job. And, I mean, hangovers aren't exactly fun. Mm -hmm. But I'm not doing anything wrong, you know? I deserve a break every once in a while. I think it's reasonable that you deserve some free time to unwind. And it sounds like you feel drinking with your friends is a good outlet for you. You seem interested in finding a way to have the best of both worlds. How do you think you might go about that? I don't know. Well, I have some thoughts that might be useful for you. Would it be okay to share them? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Okay, great. The National Institute of Health has actually established some healthy drinking guidelines. And according to their recommendations, healthy men your age should be drinking no more than four drinks in one day and no more than 14 drinks in a week. You mentioned that before that drinking on the weekends is something that's enjoyable to you, you like to relax and have fun with your friends, um, that you also have generally five or six drinks, which is just a drink or two above the recommendations. Drinking more than the recommended limits can put you at risk for depression, other mental health issues, even some physical problems. So given this information, what are your thoughts about your drinking? Well, I don't know who came up with that, some doctor or somebody, but I don't really think six drinks is too many. I mean, my friends and I will put down a six-pack each, and it's no big deal. I mean, that's just normal. I mean, we don't lose our jobs, we don't have to break up our marriages, that's just not a big thing. Okay, so I'm hearing you say that you're not concerned that you're drinking above the limit and that it's pretty normal for you and your friends to consume that much alcohol. I also hear you saying, though, that balancing your work, your marriage, and friends is important to you. Well, I mean, I work hard. I have a good marriage. I deserve to be able to relax. I mean, sometimes I mess up once in a while, but like I said before, it's not a big deal. Everybody does that from time to time. So I hear you saying you mess up every once in a while. But tell me more about you, how you feel when things don't go the way you'd like them to go with work or your wife. Well, bad, you know. I mean, it's not who I want to be. I want to keep it together and enjoy my downtime. You know, be responsible. Being responsible and keeping it together is a priority for you. And it sounds like you don't want your drinking to interfere with this. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay, Steve. It sounds like maintaining a healthy balance in your life is important to you. 
How do you think staying within the drinking limits, that is just cutting back one or two drinks when you're out with your buddies, would help you to maintain that balance? Well, I guess I wouldn't be hung over as much. My wife wouldn't be on my case. I don't know, she might even be a little more agreeable when I said I'm going to go out with the guys. Um, and I mean, missing work wouldn't be an issue. All of those sound like really good reasons to stay within the healthy drinking guidelines. I'm curious to know though, how ready you might be to make this change. Let me ask you this. On a scale of one to 10, one being not ready at all and 10 being extremely ready, how ready would you say you are to stay within the healthy drinking guidelines? Well, it's not really something I've thought about before. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I didn't really think that cutting back would make any difference. But I guess if staying within those guidelines would help with those things, I don't know. Maybe a five. A five. So something you might consider, but you have a ways to go to feel completely ready to make this change. Yeah, yeah I'd say that's about right. Okay. So why would you say you're a five and not a lower number, say a two? I mean, I guess the reasons that we discussed before, you know, such as, you know, the way things are going at work and with my wife being upset. Okay. Well, that's great. And what do you think it would take to move you to a higher number on the scale, such as an eight? You know, I think I'd have to believe that it would really make a difference. Okay. I mean, if I wasn't going to be hung over and have these other problems, if I knew that was how it's going to be, I'd probably be more likely to do it. So knowing it would be effective is a critical piece for you to make this change. How could you find out if it is effective for you or not? I guess I could try it, just see what happens. I mean, it couldn't hurt anything. Okay. It sounds like it's important enough to you to commit to trying this at least once. And if you find it's something that's beneficial for you, it might be something you even continue to incorporate in the long term. Would it be all right if we followed up on this during our next session? Yeah, that'd be okay. Excellent. Thank you for being willing to have this conversation with me and being open to some new ideas. Now, what other work-related issues would you like to discuss today?